The former head of homicide for Detroit Police Department was in court with the judge today. Not that unusual, but this time he was in the defendant's chair. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo joins us now with details. And Heather, this was quite a twist, having the former cop on the other side of the law, wasn't it? Yes, it was, Diana. Bill Rice used to spend his days putting the bad guys behind bars. Now he's facing a possible prison sentence if he's convicted of these fraud and drug charges. Bill Rice and his girlfriend Cheryl Sanford are facing 16 felony counts, including mortgage fraud, running a criminal enterprise, and possession of drugs with intent to deliver. They are both also accused of giving false information to get federal funds for mortgages. Rice and Sanford's attorneys battled it out with prosecutors during their preliminary hearing at 36th District Court today to determine if the case should go to trial. Today's questioning focused on the mortgage fraud allegations, and court officials asked us not to show the witnesses' faces. A witness from the Wayne County Register of Deeds Mortgage Fraud Task Force testified. A notary public also testified, saying she illegally backdated a deed as a favor to William Rice. I did it as a favor to William. But no one forced you to do it? No, no, no one forced me to do it, no. Did you receive any type of compensation or anything for backdating the two deeds? No. At the time that you backdated the two deeds, as a notary republic, were you aware that that was illegal? Yes. And you did it anyway? That's a fair thing, yes. That notary public also testified that after federal agents contacted her, she told Rice that she wanted to do an addendum to the deed to change the dates back to what they should have been. But she said Rice told her not to because he had already been interviewed and that would have meant perjury for him. The notary public was given immunity to testify and Rice is now also charged with lying under oath. Neither defendant wanted to comment today. The hearing continues on Wednesday.